Hi, and welcome to City Beat. I'm your host, Beej, Recreation Coordinator with Lewiston Parks and Recreation. And today, our guest is Executive Director of Beautiful Downtown Lewiston, Brianne Durham. Good morning, Brianne. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? Doing awesome. Uh, so, if we just can jump into it, can you explain a little bit about BDL, Beautiful Downtown Lewiston? Of course. Uh, Beautiful Downtown Lewiston is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we're going into about year five now of operation, um, and we are following the Main Street approach to downtown revitalization. And that's one of the things that we're most proud of as an organization because it's the same approach that's been used in communities like Ellensburg and Walla Walla and Missoula, and then many, many others across the nation as well, um, to bring their downtowns back into relevancy and, and really highlight those small businesses. Um, and so what we do is we have a four-point approach uh, we have promotions, which are events to bring people downtown and get them reacquainted with the downtown district. We have our design committee, and that group uh, works on the, the visual appearance of downtown. Um, you know, the streetscape elements, the building facades. Um, we have our economic restructuring committee, which works on recruiting and retaining businesses, because obviously the economic development part is a big part of revitalizing downtown. And then our organization committee actually works on um, building consensus, through volunteer support, and we have a really great volunteer base, um, as well as fundraising, bringing in money from downtown businesses that choose to be members of ours. Um, you guys actually just had a fundraiser. Can we you, did, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about Yeah, it, it was our first fundraiser event. Um, it was called The Price is Right Downtown, and it was a really fun event. Um, a lot of work went into it, uh, but we had 150 people attend, which is great for a first-time event. And everybody who attended was basically considered a contestant on The Price is Right Downtown. So we had the full set. We had a great dinner by Seasons Bistro, and it was just a really fun night. And people went away with some really incredible prizes. Um, we had a package from the diamond shop that was valued over $3,000. Somebody went home with that. Um, and also a tropical cruise for two. Which was a lot of fun. It was, yeah. Um, a big part of your role these last few months, um, or a powder of downtown, is the fifth through, first through fifth street um, uh, rebuild. Can you talk about BDL's role in that? Yeah, of course. Um, it was an urban renewal agency project, um, but beautiful downtown list and worked on providing some design guidelines um, for specifically the streetscape part of it. So. Uh, you know, light posts, trees, and that kind of thing. And we also managed the public art aspect of it. So the, the mosaic that's on the pedestrian bridge now, bicycle racks, um, the whole thing, we managed that part of it. Um, and we also work to communicate with the downtown businesses too, because a street rebuild can be hard on businesses, but um, the end result is fantastic, and we're just really excited that it's complete, and we have a great entryway into downtown now. Can you talk about the process of, you talked about um, art downtown, can you mm -hmm. talk about the process of um, choosing art, why you chose pieces and, or didn't choose pieces? Yeah. Um, it was a really extensive process because whenever you want community input, you need to give it time. Um, and so we did first a call for artists um, and that went out nationally. Um, I think we had over a thousand artists that received that call for artists, and that's basically a request for proposals for artists. Um, so when we got them back, uh, we had selected a group of citizens, I think there were seven of them, um, from different parts of the community to, you know, people from the Center for Arts and History, and we had someone from Parks and Rec, and an artist, and just different people, different business owners, and so they were on this committee, and so they would narrow it down. Um, for each of the different calls. So we had, um, we had the, the big piece, the pedestrian overpass piece. We had the library focal piece, and then we had um, benches and bike racks. So think of those, each as their own project. And so we put it online, um, and we asked for community input. We actually had an, a public meeting for one of them, for the big one. Um, so we gathered input on once we had narrowed it down, and then the committee met again, took that input, and made selections. So it was a really in-depth process for each of those four different pieces. Mm -hmm. How would um, an average citizen um, uh, you know, help or be a part of that process? Because I think a lot of times, a lot of people just don't know what's going yeah. on. How, how would they 
Well, we really utilized the Tribune for one. I mean, we sent a press release every time we had it online, um, and we used social media as well. So there was at least a small article every time we had public input available online. Um, and then we did uh, an invitation through the Tribune as well when we had that public meeting. Mm -hmm. Um, now that that you know the first through Fifth Street stuff's done, what is next for downtown? Well, our design committee is working on a couple exciting smaller projects right now. Um, we are planning a kind of an interpretive sign, a kiosk. Some people say, but that doesn't seem like the right word in my opinion. But it's um, signage for Brackenberry Square, and it will have a map of downtown, a business directory, and a place for uh, people who have community events downtown to post information about that. Um, so basically, it's just a little information hub. So we're looking at getting that design installed sometime this spring, summer. Um, we're also going to be uh, not really repurposing, but refurbishing um, a sign that's already um, right next to the new library building. Um, so getting some more of that pedestrian wayfinding installed, as well as um, a fundraising campaign to get really nice new banners for Fifth Street, because all those light poles have um, the brackets for a, a welcome banner, like you would see in a lot of other communities. Mm -hmm. So we're um, approaching businesses and asking them to help us fund some of those. Um, a, you know, part of that process, there's got to be some funding for it. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the information wayfinding kiosk, whatever you want to call yep. it, um, where is that money coming from to be able to build? build something like that? Well, for the wayfinding sign, it will be from actually a, a grant from Idaho Smart Growth um, that's focused on pedestrian and bike, bicycle safety and awareness. And so that pedestrian wayfinding um, is definitely a big part of that. And then for the banners, um, like I said, it will be funded by donations from downtown businesses and they'll get their name at the bottom um, in return for sponsoring a banner. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, so shifting gears a little bit, a, a big part of what a beautiful downtown Lewiston has done in the last few years is a lot of special events mm -hmm. downtown. What's on the uh, docket for 2013? Is, are there any changes? We actually have a really big change um, and it's something I'm, I'm really excited about. Uh, we will not be doing Lewiston's Live After Five this year. Um, and there are a lot of factors that went into that, but more than anything, it's that we have something better and bigger that we want to do instead and we needed the time and staff management to uh, be able to make it happen. So, um, you know, Clarkson's doing a great job with their Live After Five, and we kind of wanted to provide the community with something different and new. And one of my big um, reasons for making a switch is that I wanted to do something weekly. You know, the third Wednesday was great, um, but it was really very focused on vendors, which can be really fun, and we'll definitely still provide vendor opportunities, but we want to put the focus back on the live entertainment and the downtown businesses. Um, and so we'll be doing what we're calling Sound Downtown. Um, and it's going to be a weekly summer concert series in Brackenbury Square um, on Saturday early evenings. And so we're actually going to be pairing it with our farmer's market this year too. We've consulted with a lot of our regular vendors about, um, about making the change because we've had a Wednesday evening market for several years now, and um, we've kind of been eyeing Saturday. You know, we want to be good neighbors to Clarkston, obviously, because they have a Saturday morning, but um, a lot of our vendors are vendors in both markets. So we've talked to them, and we've kind of got a consensus that they think a Saturday afternoon would be great. Um, they see it being different customer base, um, and they think it would be fine for them as vendors, too. So we're talking, you know, Wilson Banner Ranch, Harvest Ridge Organics, people like that who can pack up from Clarkston, or Moscow, because a lot of our vendors are from Moscow too, and then head to Lewiston to start a late afternoon market. Um, so we're pairing the farmer's market and this weekly concert series, and we're just really excited about it. Um, what kind of music are you hoping to um, you know, get for that weekly concert series starting in 2013? Yeah, we're thinking, um, well, mostly local and regional bands. Um, we're gonna start recruiting really soon here. Um, so it's just going to be the gamut, you know. A lot of the same kind of stuff we had at Live After Five because we have connections with those musicians now. Um, anything from a jazz quartet to a rock band, you know, anything. But we'll be announcing what it is um, every week, and we hope to have a calendar laid out for the whole summer so you can know ahead of time which band is playing that Saturday. Cool. Um, what other events are going on in, you know, March, April, May that, you know, viewers can check out downtown? Yeah, we have about 
uh, one big event every month, so it's really exciting downtown. Um, we have our St. Patty's Day pub crawl on March 16th. We have Refresh the Valley on April 6th. That's a Saturday morning, and so that's a great opportunity to come out and volunteer for the morning to plant flowers and um, clean up your downtown, just take pride in it. Um, in May, we are actually partnering with the Chamber of Commerce um, to host a new event called Pro Shop, um, and the date for that is May 10th. Um, and you'll register in teams of four, and it's a shopping event that's themed toward golf. Um, and so be on the lookout for that. It's called Pro Shop 2013, and it's going to be a really fun uh, shopping-themed event where you get to support local businesses. And then we just jump right into summer after that, and we just have a lot of things going on with Sound Downtown and Hot August Nights, of course, um, as well as our farmer's market in the summer. Can you just talk real quickly about BDL's role in Hot August Nights, um, the concert part and the event part? Yeah, we are not involved in the concert. Um, that's the radio station, Pacific Empire Radio, deals with that. But we do the downtown stuff, so the car show, the cruise, um, and we always have some live entertainment going on that Saturday as well. So um, we do all the registration for Lewis and Hot August Night's car show um, and the cruise on Friday night um, and just manage the entire downtown part of it where the radio station does the Pioneer Park. So saying all this, all these events that go on, how does somebody get involved in BDO? Great question. We're always accepting volunteers. Um, it's a really good organization to be a part of be just a volunteer, um, and we have a lot of downtown business owners actually that volunteer as well, but if you're just um, a citizen, a community member who wants to volunteer, you care about your downtown, you can call me, 208-790-1148, and we can talk about all the different opportunities available. You could help with a special event, or you could join a committee, um, and I just really encourage it. That's how I got involved with BDL originally. I love our downtown, and I wanted to volunteer, and it's turned into this, so... <laughs> Um, I know uh, BDL has applied to become uh, a nonprofit. Um, how's that application going right now? We are a nonprofit um, already. There are different categories in the nonprofit world. So we're currently a 501c6, and we've been applying to be a 501c3, which is more of the standard type of nonprofit. So it's in the IRS's hands right now, and we're waiting to hear back. But that's what the average Main Street program is, is a 501c3. So we're looking forward to you know, hopefully, knock on wood, <laughs> um, getting that change soon. Um, how can how can organize how can other organizations or actually individuals how can they help support you financially? How can they donate money, um, or can they? Oh, they definitely can. Um, we have a Friends of Downtown program, and so that's just fifty dollars a year. Um, and that's just an easy way for an individual to support the organization. And you can find that on our website, which is www.beautifuldowntownlewiston.org. And we have an application on there. And that's all one word. It is, yep. Minus, minus the dot. Yep. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to chat about or let people, let viewers know about uh, before we go? Nope. Just keep us in mind. You know, we're... a young organization, uh, but we have just so much momentum going and we just always encourage you to support your downtown businesses um, and visit downtown. There are a lot of new things that perhaps you haven't seen yet and as the weather improves, take a walk, go shopping, have lunch on the Sidewalk Cafe and it's, it's becoming a really, really wonderful community hub. Thank you. I appreciate your time and coming out and uh, visiting us in, here on City Beat, so thank yeah. you very much. Well, appreciate thanks for it. having me on the show. Yeah. On behalf of everyone here, we will see you next time on City Beat.